My name is Dr. Les Anderson. I'm a beef extension specialist at the University of Kentucky. The focus of this short video is to demonstrate the proper practice of inserting a seeder device into a beef heifer. The materials you will need to insert a seeder device are the seeder, a seeder applicator, lube, a topical disinfectant like Nolvasan or Dermaclor, and paper towels. The first step is to get two buckets, one with the disinfectant and one with just water. You'll take your cedar applicator and you'll put it first in the disinfectant with the grooved end down. Then you'll rinse the disinfectant from the cedar applicator in the bucket of water. Next you'll take the cedar device. Cedar stands for Controlled Internal Drug Release, C-I-D-R. And the cedar device is a T-shaped plastic device that's coated in the hormone progesterone. Okay, so as I rub my finger over the cedar device, some of the hormone is able to, to, to be rubbed off the plastic onto my latex glove. Whenever you're handling these devices, it's very important that you wear some sort of protective coating on your hands because the hormone will be rubbed from the device. The cedar devices are used in beef cattle to help control the onset of estrus. When the cedar device is inserted into the animal, it prevents them from coming into heat. When the cedar device is removed by pulling the string, the hormone disappears in the animal's bloodstream, which allows the animal the opportunity to come into estrus. To insert a cedar device, you simply bend the wings up on the T, take the disinfected and cleaned applicator and with the groove up, insert the cedar device into the end of the applicator. It's very important that you insert the cedar device with the tail pointing down instead of the tail pointing up, okay? The tail's pointing up, research has shown that that the flapping of the tail by the animal's movements will attract attention of other, of other beef heifers and, and cows, and they'll actually grab this tail with their teeth and remove it from the animal's body. So it's very important that the tail goes down. The next step is to get a couple of paper towels and then thoroughly cover the end of the cedar device with lubricant. Once you have the animal in a head chute and restrained, simply pick up the tail, take the paper towels, and wipe the manure off the vulva. Again, with the tail down, insert the lubricated cedar device into the vulva. All the way. To the anterior vagina. Depress the plunger. And remove the, the cedar applicator. The only difficulty in inserting the cedar device is about three inches or so into the vagina is where the suburethral diverticulum is. And that's where the urethra empties into the reproductive tract. That creates a ridge and sometimes the cedar device, you have to 
gently manipulate the cedar device up over that ridge so that you can deposit the cedar into the anterior vagina. Now the body fluids soak up the hormone and as long as the cedar device is in the animal's body, she will not be able to come into estrus. When you're ready for the animal to come into estrus, simply grab the string and remove the cedar device. Cedars are used extensively in the beef industry, mainly for artificial insemination, but can also be used for seven days prior to natural service in both beef heifers and beef cows. Proper sanitary insertion of cedar devices is important to maintain low incidence of vaginitis and to make sure that the animal responds properly to treatment. For more, inf for more information on the use of cedar devices, please go to your local county extension agent for agriculture or visit our website at www.ca.uky.edu and find the links for extension publications.